No Man's Sky is apparently doing very well. Welcome back everyone, today it's Roundup episode and I have got great stories for you. As an example, Phantom Liberty is uh, going to use a hell of a lot of your computer, be warned. As well, No Man's right? Sky is seeing a massive uptick in its players and the corporate crashing and burning that is currently going on in and around Gearbox. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. Okay, first we got No Man's Sky. So it's actually having its strongest month in the last few years, and this is likely for two reasons. Number one, well, Starfield came out, but number two, they actually have uh, some new update stuff in the game. The most uh, recent- I think the game, like one thing that's really kind of striking about this game is that it has a lot of very vibrant colors, which is a lot different than, let's say, Starfield. Because with Starfield, like, most of the game is kind of washed out. Recent one has a new playable species, the Autophage, which are sentient robots that add their own multi-hour-long quest narrative. There's quite a few of those in that game wow. now. Also, outlaw capital ships, which can be destroyed basically by doing a Star Wars trench run attack. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of cool. There's also Star Wars Squadron style power, weapons, shields, energy management, uh, mechanics, for the dog fights, which of course we've Jesus. also seen say in Starfield. Look at all that that it's so crazy to me to see this game because like the idea that you can just go in a ship and go from point of interest to point of interest within like seconds, like in Starfield, that's like well, you just don't do that recently and to go along with all that stuff there is more Look at reputation that. It's a fucking, that you it's can like a, a fucking battleship over so here you can get uh, oh them my god in your fleet which is actually and i still will not forgive like there is no reason for us not to have massive tunneling dune worms in starfield there is no excuse i don't care about like oh but no uh-uh nope nope no excuse all pretty damn fun. The whole like frigate and uh, fleet mechanic stuff that they added. Well, they added ages ago, and they've that. been kind of like refining oh, ever like since. Star Wars. They've, yeah, they've they've been pretty damn cool. It's a funny game, right? Obviously, yeah. uh, there was this expectation, I suppose, that some aspects of Starfield were supposed to be able to hit some kind of like No Man's Sky like thing, which um, I don't think those were particularly well founded expectations. I think that a lot of people just expected Starfield. To be, I, I thought it was just going to be basically Skyrim in space. Like, that was about it. I never really expected it to be, like, any sort of, like, really crazy game or anything like that. It was just kind of, like, whatever it is, though. Yeah, I mean, it is. But the thing is, like, I think it is kind of like Skyrim in space, but Skyrim for its time, in my opinion, was, like, really groundbreaking. It was, like, really, really insanely fucking good in, like, ten different ways. But, like, Starfield... It's just Skyrim again in space. That's the way that I feel about it. It's like 10 years later, they're doing kind of the same stuff. Right? Um, it's like they're just completely different games, but certainly like, yeah, if Starfield's got you hankering for space, in spite of, I would say, a new player onboarding experience that isn't particularly great, there is a hell of a lot to do in No Man's Sky. I was really impressed whenever I fell into it. Honestly, for like a month solid uh, around what this the time fuck? last year. So, absolutely. Holy shit. So, Belly played it a lot. That's actually insane. Let me look and see how many people are actually playing No Man's Sky now. No Man's Sky. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually, uh, it's actually fucking going up. Holy shit. Well, let me look, actually, let's look at Google Trends. I think that's a better way to see it. Google Trends. There it is. Okay, so this is the interest in Starfield over the past 12 months, I would say. Actually, we'll do the past uh, 30 days. It's been out for about 30 days. Uh, yeah, it came out somewhere around here, I think. Yeah, September 1st. And then No Man's Sky. Well, shit. Well, shit. I mean, on Google, like, No Man's Sky isn't anywhere near Starfield. Look at this. Yeah, I mean, damn. I mean, let's look at, um, how about, uh, this is in the United States. Let's look at Worldwide. Yeah, it's about the same. Yeah, Starfield is just way bigger. And that's just what the numbers show. YouTube, which one's bigger? No Man's Sky is way, way, way smaller.
Look at that. Compare it to Skyrim? Oh yeah, that's actually a great example. Skyrim. I wonder which game was bigger for its time. Yeah. The yellow one is Skyrim. Type the uh, dash without uh, mans instead of mans. Do you not understand the way Google search results work? Maybe you don't. And it's okay, a lot of people don't know. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's not quite, uh, it's not quite the way that you imagine it. So, Skyrim was bigger than Starfield is, it was on release a year after release. Oh my god. Yeah, that really is a lot. I had no idea mod support started. Yeah, I guess so. Holy fucking shit. And then, uh, yeah, Skyrim even got bigger in 2016. Like, five years after release... Skyrim was almost as big as, uh, five years after it was almost as big as Starfield. What the fuck? And Starfield has gone down a pretty good amount. I'm curious to see what's going to happen over time. Let me think if there's, like, any other games like this. How about Destiny 2? Actually, Destiny 2 is not really the same type of game. Not surprising. Skyrim's fantasy and Starfield's a space game. Fantasy has more fans by a long shot. Diablo Fallout 4. Yeah. Fallout 4. Console game. Okay, here we go. And so let's look at past five years. Uh, maybe... No, 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 no. Uh, let's see. Past... Oh, it's doesn't to president. How, how big was Fallout 4? Wow! Holy shit, Fallout 4 popped off! God damn! Look at that. Holy shit, that's crazy. Yeah, Fallout New Vegas. Let me see. Fallout New Vegas. Ah, not that big. Yeah, not that big. Ooh, not, how about Fallout 76? Ooh, good one. Fallout 76 video game. How'd that one do? Ooh. 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 How about Elder Scrolls 6? No, okay, we can't really see that. Okay, GTA 5. Well, it doesn't exist yet? Well, that's what I was saying, right? I was curious if, like, the hype for Elder Scrolls 6... Uh, was like still bigger, but apparently not. What about Witcher 3? Well, I just wanted to compare Bethesda games, right? Because like that's kind of what, I mean, they made all these other games. I mean, besides No Man's Sky, obviously. Uh, it seems like No Man's Sky, at least for now, is kind of a uh, cult classic, right? A lot of people might like it, but it hasn't really gotten to the, uh, the big leagues yet. Yeah, it's niche, exactly. No Man's Sky is dead. Is it a dead game, guys? Guys, is it a dead game? Oh my god, the trend, the trend and the graph says it's dead? What? Oh no! We're not playing a dead game, are we? Well, we can't play a dead game. If we play a dead game, then we're losers. Jesus Christ. Okay, anyway, I just find this to be interesting. I love graphs. I love looking at this. And do you know why I love looking at this? It's because it's real. No. Oh. It's as real as Google can be. Um, it, it, it's real. It's real data, and it, it's not an opinion. It's not like, you know, there's like some fucking No Man's Sky fanboy or anything like that. This is just actual data. And the data shows No Man's Sky is not even remotely as popular as Starfield. Let's look at how many people are going, are playing Starfield on Steam. Hmm. Uh, there's a lot. Yeah, it's, it's actually going up now. There's over a quarter of a mil. Quarter of a milli. Isn't that nuts? Why? It's the weekend? Yep, number one, it's the weekend. And uh, let's see, besides that, I can't really zoom in anymore, or zoom out anymore. And they had a lot more people playing originally. However... Seven days ago, it peaked at 330k. 
and it hasn't lost that many people. So we can shit on Starfield all we want, but there's a lot of people that are playing Starfield. And also keep in mind, these are all people who are playing it on Steam. These are not Game Pass enjoyers. These are not Xbox owners. Check off Titanfall 2. Yeah, I heard about Titanfall 2 popping off today on Twitter. I might play that, especially after uh, after Armored Core 6. Dude, I love that game. That game was so fucking fun, man. Like, I think about that game every day. Anyway, let's go back to the video. I was just going to talk about that for a bit because I, I love seeing the numbers. The nu like numbers to me, like these graphs are like porn. I love them. They're my favorite. They give the game a shot. Uh, since I last played it, there's, there's been a bunch of updates, and they've been really good. Anyway, space is clearly big enough for both games, which is certainly a nice thing. Next well, up... Well, I mean, uh, it's not big enough to have any, you know, interesting alien life on it, though, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I mean, holy shit. You like the numbers? You should have seen Destiny glitch this weekend? Yeah, I heard about some of that stuff. Play New Game and New Game Plus Plus and, uh... Armored Core? Yeah, I know. One day I might, but yeah, I just wanted to look at that and kind of see what's going on there because, like, I, I didn't know, but, like, the good thing, though, is that No Man's Sky is doing well. And as we saw, this is the way that a lot of these games are, is that let's compare right now Diablo 4 and Path of Exile. Okay. And we're going to do Path of Exile 2. Actually, let's just do Path of Exile 1. Okay. Um, remove. And remove. And remove. Oh my god. I didn't realize Diablo 3, how much bigger Diablo 3 was than Diablo 4. Dude, Diablo 3 was fucking massive. Holy shit. Oh my god, yeah. And so what I'm saying, like, well, the, the point that I was making, right? Diablo 3 at the time, the second highest selling video game of all time. Yeah, there you go. Like, here's the point I was making, is that, like, Diablo didn't lose to Path of Exile overnight. It didn't. It took a long time. A long, long, long time. And even after like five years, for example, PoE was a bit ahead. There's Diablo 3, they basically just gave up on it. And then afterwards, people started paying attention to Diablo 4. And now, even though the game just came out, people are still paying more attention to Path of Exile than Diablo 4 even though Diablo 4 actually has news now. Uh, we have news to talk about with Diablo 4 also. Based Canada, based Russia, based Australia, Saudi Arabia fucking loves Diablo 4. Based Brazil, Argentina likes uh, probably... <laughs> Diablo 4, Argentina likes it a bit more. United States, we also like Diablo 4 more. Mexico loves Diablo 4. That is crazy. Aussie's base. Yeah, there you go. Zimbabwe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Zimbabwe doing. Did you ever watch Chris Wilson's game dev conference speech? You know, I don't think I ever did. I, I probably should take a look at that at some point. But, yeah, I mean, I just wanted you guys to see this because, like, a successful game that takes that, that, that like really captures a market it takes so long to build that it's not something that happens overnight most of the time and even whenever it does that like excitement is like a fucking spark and then it kind of fizzles out and like people aren't interested and it takes that happening over and over and over so yeah that's a good example do diablo 2 diablo 2 is a dead game man it's been out 20 years Let's be honest. PoE's graph is dead until Diablo 4 comes out. Diablo 4 helped PoE. I agree with you. 
Um, I agree with you. Uh, to be, to, but to be fair, uh, that's uh, it's not. I agree with you that Diablo 4 helped PoE. I don't agree with you that Diablo 4, uh, sorry, uh, that that PoE was dead before then, because that's just factually not true. Yeah, that's all I'm really trying to say. So yeah, No Man's Sky is uh, is popping off. A lot of people are playing it. More and more people are playing it. It's got a long way to go for it to be anything close to Starfield. Yeah, Bumpster Seasons, of course, yeah. I'm glad to see it. I actually do have Diablo 4 news, if you guys can believe that. Oh, let me link you guys a video real quick. Where the fuck is it? I didn't watch the whole thing, but I'll link it to you guys anyway if you want to watch the rest of it. The Bellure video analysis, some of the uh, hours in, in the game. Yeah, exactly, of course. No Man's Sky is an old game. It is, and uh, they're continuing to develop it and update it and things like that. There's the video right there. And the next thing that I want to talk about today, gentlemen, is the Diablo 4.